Okay guys, we're starting with heat. That's exercises 14A and B on pages 239 to 243. Remember, the formula is H is equal to MC delta T and heat H is not the same as temperature T. Think of temperature as a measure of the intensity and heat is the measure of how much. In any case, uh, to solve these, uh, you basically need to use algebra and just make sure that your units cancel and as always be careful with sig figs. So let's just jump right into a problem. How many joules of heat are needed to raise 17.3 grams of iron from negative 4.6 degrees C to 72.6 degrees C? Your job. And also take a look at uh, B and C. Hit your pause. Try the problems then come on back and uh, we'll go ahead and solve. Okay, so hit pause. All right, you're back. Let's take a look. Joules of heat needed to raise. So, heat is what we want. And if we're solving for heat, we're just going to use H is equal to MC delta T. We're already ready. So what's the mass? Well, we know that. That's 17.3 grams. What's C? C is the heat capacity. And that's different for every material. So we have to find the heat capacity for iron. And if you look at your conversion sheet that's in the front of your book, and this is the conversion sheet that you're going to see on your tests, notice that heat capacities for different elements and different states of matter are found in both calories per gram per degree C and joules per gram per degree C. Since we're talking about joules and we need iron, that's the value we're going to use, 0.4513. 0.4513 joules per gram per degree C. And what is the change in temperature? Some people do this by taking 72.6 minus 4.6, but I want you to think about this from a number line. Wouldn't you go from negative 4.6 up to 0, and then 0 to 72.6? Sure, so the total temperature change is actually adding these two. And so you'd better be careful with your sig figs, always. And whenever you get that, 72.6 plus 4.6 is equal to actually 77.2, drawing the line. So change in temperature, that's what delta means, change in temperature, 77.2 degrees C. Degrees C cancels, grams cancel, you're left with joules. 3 sig figs here, 4 sig figs here, 3 sig figs here, so even though that only has 2 sig figs, we need 3 in our answer. And so if we multiply those three together, seventeen point three, I get six oh two point seven something, so six hundred three joules. That's the answer to that one. All right, let's try the next. Calories of heat added to this many grams at this temperature, what's the final temperature? So this time H is equal to M C delta T and we're trying to find temperature. So let's solve for temperature by doing our algebra. Write it all out. What's the harm? Can't take you that long. Make sure you're doing it right. The heat is 421 calories. The mass is 8.7 grams. And the uh, C is for copper. So when we look copper, what we see in calories, it's 0 0.0920 calories per gram per degree C. 0 0.0920 cals per gram per degree C. So 
what does that give us? Well, let's check our units first. Calories cancels out. Grams cancel out. 1 divided by 1 divided by degree C should give us degree C. So let's calculate that first to two sig figs. 421 divided by 8.7 divided by 0 0.092. Five twenty-five. Actually, five twenty-six. All right. Oh, let's see here. I think what we'll do is we're going to change this for just a second for me, for you, just to make things simpler on this problem. I promise this will be important as we move forward. We want this to be three sig figs. Okay, so 526 degrees C. Now what is that? Is that the final temperature? Is that the final temperature? No, it's not. Delta T here is what we're solving for. We're solving for the change in temperature. So here's a big question. Add heat equals temperature change up or down? Well, sure, it's up. If you're adding heat, the temperature goes up. If you're removing heat, the temperature will go down. Okay, so this is the change in temperature. We started at 513. We added this. 9310. Oh. This is the final temperature. So, final temperature is 1039 degrees C. Okay? That's really important that you understand that we're solving for delta T. And because this is the change, you have to either add the heat, add the temperature if we're adding heat to that original temperature, or subtract that temperature from the original temperature if we're removing that heat. All right? One last one to go. 27.3 grams of an unknown solid has 217 joules of heat removed from it, and the temperature drops from 121 to 89. What's the heat capacity of the unknown? Well, it's H is equal to MC delta T again. But this time we're solving for C. Do the algebra. Write it out. Make sure it's right. C is equal to H over M over delta T. We know H is 217 joules. We know mass is 27.3 grams. And we know the temperature change drops from 121 down to 89. 21 minus 89 is 32. And that's the temperature change with two sig figs. So what units, what units do we cancel here? Well, none. But that's okay because we want our units to be joules per gram per degree C. That's what a heat capacity is two sig figs in our answer, right, because of this one being two because of that subtraction. So what is 217 divided by 27.3 divided by 32? It's 0 0.25 joules per gram per degree C. That's it. So this is pretty simple stuff using this formula you know what you need to do. So get in there and practice 14A and 14B. Good luck.